so let's talk about Elisha cursing uh, some little children. The story is from 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23. Um, and it reads like this in the New American Bible, which is a Catholic version. From there, Elisha went up to Bethel. While he was on the way, some little boys came out of the city and jeered at him. Go away, Baldy. Go away, Baldy. The prophet turned and saw them, and he cursed them in the name of Yahweh. Then two she-bears came out of the woods and tore 42 of the children to pieces. From there he went to Mount Carmel and returned to Samaria from there. So what happened? Why would a prophet like Elisha curse children? Um, so I, I looked it up in a commentary, but even better than the commentary uh, was an article I read online which talks about the fact both the commentary and the article talked about the fact that these were probably not young children but teenagers or people in their early 20s the word is used of other young men like uh, even King David when he was a young man and um, this is a time when uh, a lot of Israel was worshiping false gods and so these children were not going, you know, go up, you baldy, go up, you baldy, and, and just for fun. These were worshipers of another god who were mocking the prophet of Yahweh. And um, even the go up was probably a reference to not believing that um, Elijah had been caught up in a chariot to heaven. So this was not just a, you know, we're making little kids making fun of a prophet as he went by, but pagans making fun of a prophet of Yahweh. So I will put the link to the website that I read um, and just tell you that I looked at the Bible Hub commentaries. Um, whenever I really don't, you know, understand a situation, I type into my computer or my phone, Bible Hub, Commentaries, and then I put the passage in. So today it would have been 2 Kings 2.23. And it just, it gives you a lot of commentaries to choose from to help you understand some things. In this case, um, I actually read one that was, uh, gave some explanations that just sounded awful. You know, confident explanations that there was a good reason for this. But this explanation, I, I really liked. It just makes sense. We do know that it was a time when the Israel kings were evil. Actually, most of the is the northern kingdom kings, all of them were listed as evil. Um, but they were just, you know, Ahab had just been king not very long before there were, you know, just a lot of idol worship going on. So this was probably not just children mocking a bald guy going by, but pagans mocking the prophet of the God of Israel. And so this curse um, was probably justified. So uh, if you got anything out of this, click the bell, click subscribe, and uh, thank you for giving me a little of your time.